So here's our fender from last night. As you can see, uh, it turned out looking pretty good. But what we're going to do today is block sand the entire fender uh, after we apply some guide coat and find out uh, just if, uh, if there's any lows or highs that need uh, any additional work. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, pick it up from last night. We uh, primed up our fenders and some of our other parts. And today we've put a guide coat on top of the primer so we can block sand that out. You can see the just light misting of paint to act as a guide to tell where the highs and lows are. So you saw the fender last night and it looked really good, but as it turns out, there's some spots that we've missed. This one has been um, block sanded out and you can see a few areas that still are low where the guide coat is still sitting in a low spot. Just, just a couple of spots. Low area right here and a pretty major one right there that we missed that we've got to fill in. And I made some notes because I'm going to come back and scuff those areas out to apply some uh, filler on top of them and once I scuff them out I'll not be able to tell uh, where the spots are so we've got a little bit of tape with some notes there and we had a couple of high spots here you can see the bare metal and here a couple of bare spots we'll just tap those down and just apply just a baby skim coat of filler just over the top of them but uh, overall the uh, the fender turned out really good this is the uh, you know the top section of it here and as you can see uh, it is really nice couple of uh, high spots starting to peek through but uh, didn't get down to bare metal so those are those are all in good shape okay so we're using a product called easy sand uh, which is a filling putty by uh, Evercoat to fill in our little small low spots and as you can see this stuff really comes out thin so we're just going to use a really tiny amount of it so just going to mix up the uh, the filler putty and the hardener until it gets all one color and this stuff goes off quick so I have to be in a hurry about getting it mixed up it's starting to become all one color now. Okay, the fender has uh, been completely blocked out. The uh, low spots that we uh, just identified were filled and the filler areas were blocked out as well and the edges were feathered so that uh, um, there won't be any visible lines when we get the next coat of primer on. So it's pretty much ready for the last coat of primer and then after that, base coat and clear coat. <laughs> 